This voice is created by a text-to-speech converter. Thinking particles. Shape collision. Hello. To create this thinking particle system we need one particle group named objects which will contain all the following geometry. In this group we will define the shape collision dynamics for these particles, deformation and other parameters. We also need three master dynamic groups. The first one will be named create, and will contain the object to particle operator. This will add the objects created in the scene to the object's particle group. The second will be named forces and will add a force to the object particles group to make them fall. The third will be named dynamics and will contain the shape collision operator and a node for the floor plane. This will handle the collision between the objects and the floor. Let's get started. Go to the create tab. Click on the geometry button. Click on the box button. In the perspective view click and drag to create the floor. Increase the length and width segments to 20. Create another box and a sphere in the perspective view and move them above the floor plane. Click Ctrl C to create a camera from the perspective view. Rename box 1 object to floor. Also rename the other two objects in the scene. Now let's add the thinking particles object. Click on the create tab. From the drop down list choose particle systems. Click on the thinking button. In the perspective view click to create the particle system. Click on properties button to open the thinking particles user interface. Unclick edit on the fly button to disable it. This will make the changes visible in the viewports. In the master system group create a group and rename it to objects. In the master dynamic create a dynamic set and name it creation. In the create rollout click on the operators button. From the drop down list choose generator. Select object to particle operator and add it to the creation dynamic set. Click pick object button and add the two objects from one of the views. Select both from the list and add them to the objects group. Enable instance shape to view the particles as geometry. Hide the objects. Click on master dynamic and enable show mesh. Now you can see the particle's shape in the views. Click on Master Dynamic. Create a new dynamic set and name it Forces. From the Operators drop-down list choose Dynamics. Add the Force Operator to the dynamic set. From the drop down list choose initiator. Add the p-pass operator to the set. From the group rollout choose objects. Click on the helpers tab. Add a point three helper to the set. Connect the vector output to the direction input of the force operator. Set the Z value of the point 3 helper to minus 1. Select the force operator. Increase the strength value to 100. Drag the time slider to see how the particles are affected. As you see the objects pass through the floor. Select the master dynamic. Create one more dynamic set and name it Dynamics. From the Operators drop-down list choose Dynamics. 
add a shape collision operator to the dynamic set. Select the helpers tab. Add the node helper to the set. Connect the node output of the helper to the floor node input of the shape collision operator. Select the node helper. Click pick node button and select the floor object from one of the views. Select the shape collision operator. From the group drop down list choose objects. Drag the time slider to view the changes. As you see the objects interact with the floor but they don't deform. In the Thinking Particles user interface select the objects group. In the Shape Collision Operator group set deformation max depth to 20. Radius to 20. Impulse Threshold to 75. Drag the time slider to see the changes. As you see the box object passes through the floor. The sphere hits the floor and deforms. To solve this problem we have to increase the number of segments for the floor plane. Select the floor and set the length and width segments to 80. Check to see the changes. Both objects hit the floor but when they collide the box still passes through the floor. Increase the floor segments even more. Set the length and width segments to 100. This solves the problem in this case. If you have smaller objects hitting the floor you may have to increase the segments number even more. Another possible solution is to increase the voxel grid value for the particles group and for the floor. If you think the particles deform too much you can decrease the deformation max depth and the radius for the object's particle group. If deformation max depth value is too big the object may pass through the floor. Now you can create more objects and add them to the objects group. Feel free to change other parameters in the shape collision operator to obtain the look you want. Change elasticity spinner to control the bounce strength between interparticle collisions. Change dynamic friction spinner to set the friction between particles when they collide with each other. Be aware that this power loss happens only on impact. Change Static Friction Spinner to set the friction between particles when they are in contact with one another. Higher static friction values will make the particles slide less. Thanks for watching. Visit www.community.ro for more.